Company. everything the man said. It looks as though due process is being violated in Seattle. There are rumors of a police death squad operating there. Five murders in the past six months. All the victims were left and right extremists or dope pushers who had managed to evade the law. Last night another drug pusher was killed. Go cautiously, the man said. The local cops are touchy. The message I had been told would be waiting for me was there. A message from Benny Lemberg. Go on back to your car, the message said. You'll take it from there. Breathe. Now, come on, sweetheart. This is all very dramatic, you know? I mean, you... You put my top up, you shove a gun on my ribs. If I were you, I'd put that thing away. Why? You're being photographed. It's your picture that's being taken, Dumbbell. They've got a million of mine. Move into the next one. <laughs> well, I don't know what. Come on, let's go. What's the matter, kid? Don't you know how to start a car? Atta boy. Now, that's it. Put it in gear. Very good, very good. <laughs> there he is. 170 pounds of peg. Don't be provocative, Johnny. This is Monty Nash, Lord High Guardian for the establishment. I'm Benny Lemberger. Thank you for coming. You didn't need a gun to bring me here. Angela loves dramatics. Mr. Nash is here to investigate the pig vigilante squad. I gather by that you mean uh, the police. He said what he meant. Anyway, for the past few months in this town, the police have been stopping known criminals and dope pushers and just shooting them down. Someone I know personally got it last night. And what makes you think it's the police? They've been witnesses. Good square citizens have seen them. Therefore, I have asked for the help of the federal government. You feel that uh, your rights are being violated? Violation of civil rights I accept. It's inherent in the fascist system under which we live. It's my life I'm worried about. You're next. If there is a police death squad, why would they want to kill you? Indictment one, naked feet, funny hair, 
funny clothes. Two, I have just been acquitted on a charge of bombing police headquarters. Well, that would make them mad at you. Three, every chance I get in every public speech I make, I try to expose the police for the brutal and violent mercenaries they are. As a matter of fact, I'm giving a speech tomorrow afternoon at the peace rally. Why don't you come? No, thank you. It doesn't sound too peaceful. It better be. Because if the pigs try to hurt Benny, this town's going up in flames. It's the voice of the people, Mr. Nash. He's been warned. First stop, Benny. Second stop, Chief Weber. One of his assistants picked me up the minute I left Benny's apartment. Well, at least I didn't have to wear the blindfold. I'm Chief Weber. Tell me something, Chief. Are you people in the habit of greeting visitors like this when they come into town? Just the boys from Federal Intelligence, Mr. Nash. How'd you know I was here? We have our own intelligence. There's a few facts I'd like to give you before you start anything here. Okay, shoot. Enlighten me. My department has conducted a rigorous probe into every one of these killings, on top of the usual homicide investigation. And I gather you gave yourself a clean bill of health. And uh, the district attorney also gave us a clean bill. There's the facts. If you prefer smears and innuendo, you keep talking to the Benny Lindbergers and their sympathizers. There's quite a few of them in town right now for the peace rally. What do you got against Benny Lindberger? Only that he heads a group that calls itself Peace in Our Time. And they plant bombs, Mr. Nash, that sometimes kill innocent people. Has Benny Lindbergh ever been convicted in a court of law for planting bombs? No, not yet, but next time we catch him, we're gonna hold him. Uh, is last night's murder in this file? Just the name of the victim and the CIB number. All right. Jack Cole, drug pusher. What's the autopsy report? Two bullets in the body from a 38 special. Now, Nash, we've been told to work with you, but they didn't say by what authority you operate. Before you come into this town and accuse my men of anything, you just remember this. In the last few months, six of my patrolmen have been ambushed on the streets. Each one of them shot in the back, murdered. You want to conduct an investigation into the death squad? Then you find who killed them for me. The morale of my department is at an all-time low. My men are angry, and they're afraid. And if you go around this town stirring up feelings against them, I can't be responsible for you. In fact, I may even run you out of town myself, and I don't care who sent you. Do we understand each other? Do we? I hope so, Mr. Nash. If the members of the police department didn't commit the murders themselves, whoever was responsible certainly did them a favor. Frank Desbro, bagman for the syndicate. Bert Salonica. Junkie and Pusher. Hello. Nash? Who's this? Let's say a concerned citizen. That guy called that the cops killed last night. There was a witness. What's his name? Garcia, migrant worker. He won't talk to the fuzz, but he'll see you. Uh, where do I find him? Take this down. Drive out on Highway 67, the caller said. About four miles past the Department of Water and Power Plant. When you see a large wrecking yard on your right, slow down and take the next dirt road to your right. You'll see the wreck of an old bulldozer. Garcia will be waiting. Monty Nash. You are Garcia? Yeah. You have something you want to tell me? Not you. Not here. 
Come on, we'll take a ride. It's all right, it's all right. I know them. Come on. car accounted for, Mr. Nash. The only car that was in that area was on call five miles from the wrecking yard. Checked all the standbys, the ones being overhauled? I counted them, too. Everyone is taken care of. You're determined to pin this on us, aren't you? All I know is I saw a city police car. Now, it might have been stolen or faked, but until we can eliminate all of yours, we'll never know. Come in. Homicide said there is blood on one of the wrecks near where Garcia got hit. You're right, you got one. I want every man on the force to check for injuries mm -hmm. and a list of those off sick tomorrow. You gather from that, Mr. Nash, that we're covering for anybody? You wanted to uh, monitor the peace rally? That's right. Maybe you'd like to listen to your friend Benny Lindberger. about the poisoning of our land, our food, our skies, our rivers, by a group of men blindly dedicated to the uncaring pursuit of profit. Money. Always money, money. But we hear little of the degradation of our morals, our sensibilities, and our persons by a police force blindly dedicated to repression and fear tactics. Plan Zebra, let's move. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's Plan Zebra? Isolate the agitators. Subdue the violence before it escalates. You mean, uh, take them by force if necessary? Look, Nash, there are thousands of people in that area. Do you know how many police officers? 150. There could have been 153, but one of them is permanently paralyzed. And the other two are still in the hospital. Each one of them injured in one of these so-called peace demonstrations that got out of hand. Don't talk to me about force. Show me another way, when my men are outnumbered 50 to 1 and under attack. Are you satisfied that Benny Lemberg is safe out there? We'll have a detail pick him up if it's necessary. Now let's hope that the right men pick him up. were herding in the busted demonstrator. I spotted Angela in the crowd. somewhere inside the park. Chief told me to tell you. Thanks. If Benny was missing, I knew she could lead me to him. The trick was how to follow her without her knowing it.
You hid in my car. Yeah, well, one free ride deserves another. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Alone. Got a little while ago. Yeah, almost. You know, it didn't scare me when it happened. But later on, when I thought about that bullet being inside my head, I got the shakes. I thought about eternal darkness. It's right. Anybody see who fired? We know who did it. Oh, no. Come on. The police say they didn't do it. Well, you expect them to say it was? Nash, we're in a war. Well, even wars have rules. Oh, no, not this one. Not this one. It's a war between people like me and people like Chief Weber. I mean, his job is to protect the establishment. Keep us in the ghettos. Lean on us with the whole weight of a rotten economic system and its corrupt courts. Like the court that found you not guilty. Yeah, yeah, like that one. Look, Nash, I don't want to argue politics with you. I told you before, I like you. I get good cosmic vibrations from you. So I'm going to let you be the first to know. Benny Lindberger is cutting out, splitting. When? Soon. This, is, uh, this isn't my scene anymore, man. I mean, I'm a court jester. I like to put judges on, open their eyes a little bit. I'm not into violence and killing. I'm going to get on my bike, and I'm going to head for the trees, and I'm going to stay there. Well, if they let you. What do you mean, the cops? Whoever is trying to kill you. Now, look, you want to do a public service? For the citizens or my people? For everybody! Now, you just tell me when you're leaving town. Hey, man, what happened to the cosmic vibrations? No good? No, you've known sadness. You're okay. But I don't trust anybody but my own people. Don't go, Benny. Oh, I've got to. You take me with you. Well, how am I going to sneak out of this town if you're with me? No. You come on after me in a day or two. Oh, wow. oh, no, oh, no ceremonies, no tears, no protest demonstrations. I'll see you all later. Ciao, baby. Sorry to do this to you, Benny. Give me a helmet and jacket. I'm taking the ride that you were going to take. I didn't like scaring Benny the way I did, but it was the only way. If the death squad was going to make another try for him, this was the last chance they'd have. And somehow I had a hunch they weren't going to let the chance go by. We'd let the word get out that Benny was leaving town. If the death squad was going to make a move, I was giving them a golden opportunity. It wasn't until after dark that somebody picked me up. A police squad car. The moment of truth was here, and Plan Decoy was in effect. How's your death squad, Benny? Oh, you're wrong. We just took that police car for kicks. Wrong, huh?
I'm wrong, huh? There's the guy I wing. Now, these are 38 specials. Why, John? I'll tell you why. Same old reason. Money. How many bags of heroin did you take from uh, Cola, huh? And how much did you get for the other jobs? But me. Why me? You know I don't have anything. Well, they wanted to keep the game going between your people and the police. They wanted you to be at odds with each other. I guess I owe you my thanks, Nash. I think you owe them too, Lindberger. Yeah, you're right. Name it. Well, I think that uh, you should shake hands with the chief. Okay, Donnelly, take him in. You want to lift back your top? Yeah, thank you, Chief. They couldn't do it. They both wanted to make the world a better place to live in. But they didn't realize that they had to start by trying to understand each other. Because until they did understand each other, the world would never be a better place. At least not this part of the world. <laughs>